talk to you guys today about our cash envelope system. We kind of do like a half and half, like half cash, half digital budget. If you are somebody who you always find yourself overspending and completely going outside of your budget, cash envelopes is probably going to work really great for you guys. And I want to share with you how we do it and how it helps us stay in budget. If that sounds helpful to you, then you are going to want to make sure and stay tuned. how to live your dream life on less. I share ways to help you save money in any way possible. That way you can spend your money on things that you actually care about and help you live that dream life. So today we're talking about cash envelopes. Real quick, let me tell you why I'm completely obsessed with our cash envelope system. I will go more in depth into this in a few seconds, but we do like, we pay a lot of our traditional bills online um, with our like debit card. But also, but a lot of our like grocery spending and eating out and um, pretty much anything that I go into a store for, we use cash for that, which has helped us tremendously stick to our budget because once that money in that envelope is gone, then we're done spending. Or if we actually really do need something, we have to physically take it out of a different account or envelope. It's the perfect way to help you from overspending and draining your bank account. So let me show you how we manage our cash envelopes. The first thing you wanna do when setting up your cash envelope system is you are gonna to want to decide what you're gonna be paying digitally and what you're gonna be paying with cash. Here is a look at how our family breaks it down. Okay, so here is a quick look at um, how we separate our online bills, what we pay with our debit card, um, and then what we pay with cash. Really quickly, let me just go through what we pay with cash um, each paycheck. So we do this um, bi-weekly. Um, there's a lot going on on this spreadsheet, um, so just stick with me. We're paying attention to this section right here mostly, what we pay cash with. Um, I've done other videos on our budget. I will be doing one more in depth on how we break down our budget. I'll also be doing a video coming up on um, our one income family budget update, how things are going. Um, we started putting money back into savings now that things are going better with my husband's foot, yada, yada, yada. More videos coming soon, so make sure you are subscribed. So anyways, okay. So cash per paycheck, we take out this number right here. The 505 is what we're paying attention to right this very moment. So keep in mind that this is per paycheck, not per month, not, um, you know, every four weeks. This is every paycheck. So for us, this is bi-weekly. Every other week, this is what we're taking out of our bank account in cash. Real, um, so let's just walk through them real quick. We take out 150 for monthly groceries, weekly groceries. Um, if that's confusing to you, I will link some more videos to you on um, how we do our monthly grocery shopping trips, and then we do weekly grocery shop, like a big giant monthly grocery shopping trip, and then a tiny $25 weekly grocery trip to get fresh produce and milk. Anyways, it saves us crazy amounts of money. So, 150 per paycheck for monthly groceries. Um, 50. I'll use my little cursor. 50 for weekly groceries, and then diapers. We do 20 dollars. Now, this is the exciting part. Formula. We don't buy formula anymore, but we've still been putting the $50 away each time. Now, if you look over here, these are categories that we're looking to add per year that we don't currently have a system in place for adding money to these accounts. So medical, dental, vacation. So we'll probably start allocating this formula money um, into one of those accounts. We haven't sat down and decided that yet, but stay tuned for our next budget, one income budget update. Hopefully we'll have that figured out by then. So anyways, we were doing $50 um, per paycheck, um, but we'll figure out what to do with that money soon. Then miscellaneous purchases, $80 per paycheck. 
coupon shopping 20, fast food, date night, fun, all that stuff rolled into one is 50 per paycheck. Christmas 25, yearly expenses 30. We do need to bump that up, so that's probably one of the places that this formula money is going to be going. And then gifts, we do 10 per paycheck, and close is 20. So that adds up to a total of 505 every paycheck on that Friday, I go to the bank, I take out $505. So these are what we pay with our debit card. We pay our rent, we do tithe 10%, that goes to our church, our car insurance, water, student loan, student loan. We put $60 into a savings account every paycheck um, just for kids miscellaneous like preschool costs and back to school costs um, and then you know like extracurricular all of that good stuff then we are paying off our car blah lame and then um, these by this number right here the bi-monthly expenses is just half of this total number right here so this is just for math purposes but it's half of that number 880 and then we pay our motorcycle insurance. Netflix, of course, we don't have cable, nope. And then our second paycheck of the month, we pay our phone bill, our gas and electric, another student loan, blah. And I know that they're really tiny compared to some, so I guess that's a blessing. Um, our rent again, um, our cable, well, this isn't cable, sorry, Cox, internet. Then um, tithing, every paycheck we pay 10%. Kids account, half a car payment, and then again, half of this number right here is the 880, and those are the totals that are completely coming out. These are our expenses, each paycheck um, down to the dollar pretty much of what is coming out of our bank account, cash and all. Um, but these right here and right here, um, minus the bi monthly expenses, we have 505 taken out in cash. So that is an overview of what we pay with our debit card and then also what we pay with cash each month or actually with each paycheck. So for every paycheck I have those amounts that we just showed you. I pull that cash out of the bank and then I have our envelope. Now we are one month ahead in all of our, um, we are one month ahead in all of our bills. I did, we were able to accomplish that from doing a no spend month. I will leave a link right up here for you guys um, so you can see how our last no spend month went and I'm thinking about doing another one in October. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys would be interested in learning more about that or doing a no spend month in October with us. Um, let me know about that. So anyways, we're one month ahead in all of our bills. So I kind of, so I keep all of our cash for next month's bills in a little index in a little file card, index card, um, little box. You could keep them in anything that fits an envelope, really. So um, that's where all of our envelopes are stored since I'm not putting them directly into my wallet for this month's spending. So like it has all of those um, yearly expenses, eating out, diapers, clothes, Christmas, all of that stuff is in here. So when I get paid and I get all of our cash taken out on payday, that is a huge tip. You have to take your cash out on the day that you get paid. I found for us at least, if I wait a week or um, you know even just a few days to take the cash out of the bank, somehow that money just gets spent and it's just, I don't know, it's like magic. Don't do it. So take it out on payday, then I come in here and then I go into our cash envelopes and I start allocating all the cash and every single dollar gets put into an envelope. The way that we work our envelopes to make this whole process easier is on the front of the envelope, I have the title of the account. I don't know what else to call it. I don't know, an account. So this one, for example, is yearly expenses. So every month or every four weeks, we are putting away $40. So then on the back, down in this teeny tiny little quarter, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I have what goes into this envelope each paycheck not monthly, each paycheck. So that way, when I get the cash, it's really easy. I just look at the front, yearly expenses, turn it over, and I know $20 each paycheck goes into this envelope. Okay? So if you guys have questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I will answer them for you guys because I'm so passionate about this cash envelope system. It seriously has been a huge game changer for our spending habits. So that's what happens on payday. We get the cash from the bank, I come home, and then I put the cash directly into these envelopes. 
that stays in this little box until the beginning of next month when I transfer this money into my envelope. And I'm going to show you that now because it is so cute. Okay, are you guys ready to see how stinking cute my cash envelope system wallet is? Here it comes. Do, 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 do. Ta -da. Look at how cute this is. It is a little bit larger, but let me tell you in a second why I love how big it is. Um, it is a little bit larger, but I love that. And I'm going to show, and I'll be telling you guys more in depth of like a review on this specific cash envelope system wallet because I'm going to be having a giveaway. <laughs> So make sure that you are subscribed here to Pennies Into Pearls on YouTube, but also go over to Instagram, Pennies Into Pearls, and make sure you are following me there because that is where the giveaway is going to be taking place. So make sure you're over there and that way you get all the details and you don't miss out on your chance to win this exact, well, it looks exactly like this. Yours is going to be brand new and pretty um, on your cash envelope wallet. And let me just tell you really quick, this is from one of the cutest shops on Etsy. It's called Daisy Lane Design. Of course, I'm going to have the link for you guys, and there will be way more information on this um, wallet for you guys on the giveaway. So back to the whole cash envelope system that we do. This is how it works for us. I already told you what we do on payday. Then, so since that is for next month, if you have questions on how we got ahead, maybe I'll do a whole video on how we got a full month ahead of our bills, which has been, oh, I mean, just such a huge relief. We were a month ahead of our bills, so how good did that feel? Wonderful. Anyways, so here's the money for next month. So on the first of the next month, I move this cash over to my wallet. And then just in here, it's pretty much these same envelopes, but a lot sturdier. And let me show you what it looks like in here. So first of all, let's just admire how cute this is. So cute with this cute little rose. And then the colors just match perfectly to pennies and to pearls, don't you think? Okay, so inside is, it's just kind of like a big uh, clutch, I will call it. And then all of these different envelopes are just simply zippered. If you go on there and order your own, you can get them without the zipper. I prefer to have the zipper that way. Um, all the change doesn't get all jangled around and it's all in here, safe and sound. So then on each envelope, whoa, on each envelope, there is a little um, see-through tabby place where you can put in a label for what envelope, what account goes into there. So can you see that? Hopefully. So look at how cute all of these different pouches are that go in here. So what I do at the beginning of the month is I take the cash from the envelopes in our little index card holder thingy and then I transfer that um, specific envelopes cash. So right here is the example of weekly groceries. I take that cash and then switch it over to my wallet um, envelope and then it's in my wallet ready to go shopping. So that is how we work our cash envelope system um, for our family, like I said, it's half, kind of half digital, half um, cash. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Um, and then if you have any videos, you guys, that you want me to go more in depth with any of the topics I've talked about today, make sure to leave those down in the comments as well. And don't forget about our giveaway tomorrow. I'm so excited to collaborate with Daisy Lane Design on this. She is donating um, one of these for one of you lucky winners. So make sure you follow both me and Daisy Lane Designs over on Instagram. All that information will be on tomorrow's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really am a huge believer in using the cash envelope system to help you stay on budget and be a lot more strict with your spending. Helping you spend your money where you want to and so you can live your dream life on less. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Giveaway time! Bye! Hi guys, it's Brittany here from Pennies Into Pearls. It's 10 o'clock at night. I don't have a drop of makeup on me, and I'm thinking, I want to talk to you guys about...